Mixing Metaphors, a Colorful Language Puzzle. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting and often amusing aspect of the English language. Mixing Metaphors. Have you ever heard someone say something like, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it, and wondered what was going on? Well, you're in the right place. Mixing metaphors is when different metaphors, which usually don't go together, are combined in a way that can be confusing or humorous. Let's unravel the mystery behind this phenomenon and learn how to avoid it, or use it to our advantage in creative writing. Before we talk about mixing them, let's understand what a metaphor is. A metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. It's a way to make a comparison without using like or as. For example, saying time is a thief suggests that time steals moments from us without literally meaning time can steal. Now, mixing metaphors happens when you combine elements from different metaphors that don't necessarily fit together well, creating a confusing or nonsensical phrase. It's like saying, to open a can of worms, and, to let the cat out of the bag, in the same breath, ending up with, to open a can of cats. The images and ideas clash, creating a funny or bewildering effect. Let's look at some classic examples. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it, combines. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Dealing with a problem only when it arises, and burning bridges, destroying one's path, typically in a relationship or job, irreversibly. The mixed metaphor humorously suggests destroying your options before even encountering them. It's not rocket science to get all your ducks in a row, Mixes, it's not rocket science, it's not complicated. With, getting all your ducks in a row, getting organized. Suggesting that organizing ducks has something to do with the complexity of rocket science. Mixing metaphors is generally considered a mistake in formal writing or speech because it can confuse the audience. However, in creative writing or humor, Intentionally mixing metaphors can add color and fun. The key is awareness. If you're aware you're mixing metaphors for effect, go for it. If you're trying to communicate clearly and effectively, though, it's best to avoid them. We hope this exploration of mixing metaphors has been as fun for you as it has been for us. Remember, the beauty of language lies in its flexibility and the creative ways we can play with words. Whether you choose to mix your metaphors for a laugh or keep them straight to avoid confusion, the most important thing is to enjoy the journey of learning and using English. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!